Vayar Israel et Bnei Yosef. <clears throat> and Israel sees the children of Joseph. Vayomer, and he says, Mi ele, who are these? Vayomer Yosef, El Aviv. And Joseph says to his father, Bnei, him, these are my children, Asher Natani Elohim Bazet that God gave me. They were completely assimilated Egyptians and Jacob didn't recognize them. <clears throat> and Jacob is about to bless them and read and command and sing and say his last testimony. He blesses the children of Joseph, Ephraim and Manasseh. A saged and experienced man who himself had stolen the birthright from his own brother. As he was blessing his son's children, he crossed his hands to give his right hand to Ephraim and his left hand to Manasseh, when in fact his right hand should have gone to the eldest, Manasseh, and his left to Ephraim. There is an element of maneuver here, because Joseph had anticipated this, or something else it appears, because he had taken Ephraim in the left hand and Manasseh in the right hand. In fact, he had taken, Joseph had taken Manasseh, his oldest, in his left hand, to present to his father, to his right hand. And he had taken Ephraim, his youngest, to his right hand, to present it to his father on his left hand. And there was a struggle and a maneuver as Jacob moved his hands uh, according to his will <clears throat> and he and the blessings that he he gave become the archetypical blessings that are given to the children of Israel from then until today and in addition he gathers his and the blessing that he gives to Ephraim is a blessing of assimilation. That Ephraim should be become a, a, a connected to a multiple of peoples, and that he should uh, be multiply and be fruitful, as his name would suggest. And after Jacob finishes giving the blessings to the two sons of Joseph, and in that way incorporating his children into the house of Israel, he then gives his life, he collects his children around him and gives his last, his last vision. <clears throat> 